It is day four. We have arrived in Bath last night and went straight to the bed, but I have to show you our Airbnb because it is the cutest English place. The bedroom is my favorite. Got a beautiful Georgian bed. And it's got a beautiful view from the window. So how would you describe Bath? It is positively delightful. London is very like city city and here is very old fashioned. It has such a nice feel. Especially Lark Hall where we're staying. Which I don't know if this is Lark Hall still but it just has that village feeling. It's tiny like narrow streets, not so busy. Yeah. I suddenly have the urge to become a calligraphist. Calligraphist? Is that what you call it? Calligraphist? I don't know. To do calligraphy. Oh, you should definitely read this one. Yes, I need help. She's literally the most polite person I know. When you have a glass of water here, you are automatically drinking bath water. We just got a lot of goodies, so we don't have to eat out every single meal. Save a bit of moolah. Save some moolah. But I'm honestly so excited. Look, we have some black sticks blue the best cheese. My big purchase in Bath was this Peter Rabbit, which I am bringing home for my cats, Sunny and Cher. I'm a mom now and I have to bring things back. She's laughing at me. For my cats, they're my children. <laughs> it's very cute, they yeah, will love it. They will love it. It makes it sound. Very cute, perfect English. We don't have an umbrella, but we are off to the coffee. We're going to Castle Combe first, if we can get there before the train takes off. As usual, we're late. So we're having a picnic 
at Castle Combe. The most it is. beautiful view, the trees. Extraordinary. Eat some sandwiches. They look scrumptilicious. Scrumptily what? Scrumptilicious. Scrumptilicious. You heard it here first. This is where I live. Um, just manifesting over here. Um, that's the master bedroom. That is where that's Sunny and Cher's room because they have their own room. Now we get a chance to see the church from the inside because the first time we tried and there was a service happening and they shoot us out. So we're gonna see what it looks like from the inside now that the service is done. But how you can get there is Sirencester. You get this bus. Now we have magically transported via taxi to where are we? Look, Laycock. Laycock. This is where some of Harry Potter was filmed. Here we have St. Anne taking a picture of her kneeling pad. Someone made a poster about you. Saint Anne. There's sometimes a difficult time of year when things that you want to exhibit that haven't grown or they've finished. Right. I feel like we just stumbled on an episode of the Andy Griffith Show. Are you gonna enter your Bougainvilleas in the next flower show? Filming. <laughs> <laughs> Quite by accident, I think we toured the Abbey at Lake Hook for free. We wandered in thinking that we could see the grounds for free and that we wanted to pay to like see inside the Abbey. However, nobody asked for a ticket when we peeked inside the door of the Abbey. So, you know, we, we went with it. We went with it. I walked very fast through the Abbey because if I don't really take the time to enjoy a place, I don't feel so guilty for not paying. So it was a very quick tour. And that's my story of the Abbey. Here comes the queen. taxi driver I think he's probably very sick of us by now because this is the third time we've called him today I think he likes seeing us <laughs> we might be his favorites today it's not hard we're probably the only ones he's driven all day <laughs> three times mm. so we were waiting for the bus here in this beautiful town of La Luc Laycock Laycock and the bus just passes us we did not realize we have to like wave them down apparently here and we did no way things you don't know when you're not we thought, in this place you know we thought a bus stop means that the, the, the bus will stop it does not you have to wave <laughs> and we're on the wrong side of the road yes but these roads are so small does it really count anyway so we're uh we've called him we have his personal number if ever you're in <laughs> la luke la lock la luke <laughs> Lacombe. Lacock. 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 If ever you're in Lacock, please call Hizian. <laughs> Hizian? What was his name? Oh, Hussein. Hussein. Getting around the Cosworth without a car is a little bit stressful, I'm not going to lie, but I have some lavender with me. Lavender is supposed to calm you down when you're stressed. You're, you're never finished with us. Oh. We'll always come back.
today is Sunday and we are about to do the thing I have been most looking forward to on this trip and it is to go to the Jane Austen Center. My sister and I grew up on the Bronte sisters, Charles Dickens, and of course Jane Austen. So this is kind of, kind of exciting. If you're into English literature or BBC channel, drop a note in the comment. Let me know what your favorite story is. I think for me, my favorite movie will probably always be Pride and Prejudice. It's just kind of that comfort show. But as for the story, I really enjoy Jane Eyre. I love the story of Emma. But here in the city of Bath, the story that I think is most celebrated is that of persuasion. A lot of the book takes place here in Bath. And of course, Jane Austen herself spent quite a bit of time here. So I am excited to do some exploring in a little bit. But first I have to get ready. I think before we head to the Jane Austen Museum, we are going to have a picnic. And I just realized I probably haven't introduced myself yet, like usual. But if you are new here, my name is Carissa and I am running into trees. I am also a Canadian flight attendant, but right now I'm not working. I am on holiday with my sister in jolly old England. Also, please like and subscribe if you're feeling extra charitable today or you enjoy my content, either or. I just found a massive bush of lavender and I just kind of want to motorboat my face in here. It smells so good. This is why I always say bring a blanket scarf with you because yes, it keeps you warm on the plane, but also you have a picnic blanket. She is brilliant. Always with you, ready for any adventure. There's the love of your life. Pleasure meeting you, and Miss Bennett. Yes, I'm sure I'll bump into it at the next pool. Thank you, Georgiana, that's all right. Thank you, you, Mr. Darcy. It's all yours. He is just wonderful. I wish you every happiness. And the Jane Austen books lived and promenaded, had a stroll, had a gander, a wander about. This is where they lived. find the English countryside. When we travel, I always ask myself this one question just to promote well-being as in being alive <laughs> is, is this a good place to get murdered or not? This was her idea. Uh, let's go to places where absolutely no humans are so we can get a view of the sunset. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, that is a nice view. Are you happy now? Oh, makes my heart very happy. There's some deer. In case we starve in the wild that you've dragged me to. <laughs> I have blackberries to live off oh, of. She won't let me live this down. Because um, we almost got murdered. She needs to take a picture of the flowers. It's very busy. Busy, busy bee. Now we are ready to go. That was it for our stay in Bath. And now we are off to St. Leonard's by the Sea. So like and subscribe so that you come and see our next adventure over there. I appreciate you so much and I will see you next time.